Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 17, and this is war number four, and we're going up against an alliance called China-Germany. Now, as I've mentioned before, we are actually making a push this season uh, to try to get back into platinum. Uh, we were in gold, I forget what we finished, gold two or three, something like that. It was not good, but we weren't serious about war. Uh, now we want to be somewhat serious about war, absolutely serious about AQ. All right, so we just want to try and pick up some of those platinum rewards. Now, I take path one in section one, and I always use Gladiator Hulk. The reason that I use Gladiator Hulk is because on this path, you have to deal with Starburst. That activates Gladiator Hulk's face me. When Gladiator Hulk's face me is active, he is one of the best champions in the game. He heals most of the damage that he takes, and he hits much harder than he normally would. So for situations like uh, Starburst Path, Gladiator Hulk is the best option. Uh, in all the seasons that I've been using Gladiator Hulk, I have not lost a single fight on this path with him. So that should tell you something about how good Gladiator Hulk is, my skills notwithstanding. All right, so as you can see here, we're facing on this first node, Masakri, and just look at Gladiator Hulk's health. Just tearing him up, and he's down. Not too difficult. Now, folks don't usually place the really strong defenders on these early nodes. Sometimes they will uh, not place a defender on that first node at all. Because, of course, they know that if the opponent has a gladiator hulk, it's just a waste. Now, this fight here caused me a little bit of concern because Mysterio, I'm not used to fighting him and sometimes I will mess up especially if he throws his special one and then I just want to punish it go in hard that's a mistake you don't want to do that with Mysterio uh, what will happen is you'll get all that damage back and he will heal back up so uh, once you do push him to a special one you want to try to push him like you saw me do there uh, to a special two. That one is much easier to deal with, but you saw there, I still, look at it. He just loves firing them heavies, boy. But look at Gladiator Hulk's health. Think about what would have happened if I didn't have Face Me active and I was going in there with someone else. Those heavies, insane. All right, so here, I could go after him. I could have finished him off because by the time the you know, timer would have been done, he would have been dead. But I was locked into this mode of, okay, after the special one, don't attack. He's going to do damage back. Just parry him, wait for it to wear out. I wasn't even paying attention to his health. But I could have easily finished that fight earlier. Now, this fight here, sometimes I can take this fight. Now, you see both of my alliance mates are ready you know the nodes are down and i have an omega red who does very well on that node but here's the problem gladiator hulk has faced me active when my death field is active so omega red would not necessarily be the best i could do it with him but i would have to wait out my entire double edge so the death field would go off and then start doing some real damage to him and then it would have still been kind of slow i would have done mediums and heavies uh because of that uh psychic thorns node so i didn't take him this time uh one of my other alliance mates who comes in with a champion that is great for that mini he went ahead and took that first mini all right now, I am boosting up because we are serious about trying to reduce the number of deaths. I don't like to die anyway, but now that we're actually making a push, 
it's even more important. Now in section two, I take path two, as you see, and it's empowered immunity. We went up a tier. So we're now back in uh, the tier range where it's the nodes that I'm familiar with. Now you can see here, I'm just building up Starkey's uh, poise charges here. I don't have blade with me, so I've got to build them up a little bit more. All right, here we go. I've got 10, we went ahead, boom. Now, look at this, Starkey's doing some crazy damage already. She's not in her form because she had more power than I did. And so I was able to get some good licks in. She got a special one off and that was all she wrote. I was able to get her down without too much difficulty. All right, now the next fight here, this one I was really concerned with. Uh, Sometimes when I have Blade, I will take Blade in and he does well against Thing unless it's a really beefed up Thing. Okay, so I was worried here uh, because if Thing doesn't play right, it can be ugly. And look at that, I got hit. I'm trying to build up my Poise Charges, okay? But building up my Poise Charges can push me in that corner and then I will get wrecked by Thing. All right, so you see here, um, I'm just like, okay, I'm just going to push him because I don't want to be anywhere near that corner. I'm keeping an eye on the counter. There's 15, and he played nice. He fired his special off, um, got rid of all the rock charges. All right, we're still going. At this point, I'm thinking, wait, is he immune to shock? I can't remember. Didn't want to try it. All right, pushed him to 15 again, and he fired his special again very nicely, and boom, he's down. So... I was a little nervous in the beginning. I don't usually fight him with Starkey, but it went okay. He threw his specials uh, well, so we didn't have to worry about getting trapped in the corner uh, and just getting beat to death. All right, so that ended my participation in this war. That was the last fight. My alliance mates took the second mini uh, Omega Red doesn't do very well against uh, a Sentinel because he's a robot. And my Starkey normally would do quite well, but on this node, there is a Buffet. I don't do very well personally with Buffet. Uh, in a pinch, I would take this fight, but we're trying to push. So if I'm not really confident about a fight, I'm not going to go ahead and take it. Normally, I don't mind fighting whoever. If my alliance mates, you know, are not confident and they ask me, I go right in. But in this case, I was trying to be very careful. Uh, that silver surfer over there, I could have taken him. But uh, I believe one of my alliance mates just boosted up and then took the mini, took silver surfer while he was still boosted and then we went from there. Uh, all the minis, folks had already scouted out and there were counters to all of the minis. So we're in pretty good shape at this point in time. Uh, I remember looking at the uh, war, the deaths and all of that good stuff. Um, it's a very, very close war and I did not want to be the one to mess up. The best thing I thought I could do was to get out of the way unless I was 100% confident in a fight. The war is that close, okay? So at this point, we'll be back and I will show you what happened in this war. And as you can see, we actually pulled off the victory. I want to bring your attention to the final score. 60 point difference, okay? 60 points, that is not a lot. That is extremely close, okay? And had I messed up, had any of us messed up, died once, twice, we would have lost this war. Uh, so, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. 
Uh, if you did, I would appreciate you smashing that like button. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And shout out to China, Germany, because this was a very tough war. Uh, they are very good competitors. And we were able to pull out the victory. But if we have a rematch, I don't know. Uh, they may change some things up. It may not go as well as this one did. We got it by the skin of our teeth. All right. So take care, everyone. And you all have a blessed day.